Hey guys, playing some more Kerbal Space Program today. This is where we left off on Minmus right here. And today we are going back there, back to our home planet, Kerbin, because we have everything we can get from Minmus. I went back and got everything we have lost uh, off camera. Everything we've lost after the Kraken, because we had to load our quick save. Um, and now, yeah, that's uh, where I went and found Lowlands, the final biome we needed, and now we have everything. Let's go! If we are to get back to Kerbin, we have to burn retrograde, uh, so we need to take off off of Minmus, I guess, that way, do, uh, do an orbit and then burn here. That way would be towards this ridge, and that's how I trans transition to this view. So I know it's to the left now. Now, which key would that be? Figure that out using RCS. That's so S. S turns me that way, so now all I need to do is throttle up and S. And now just burn this way because Minmus has no atmosphere. There's no atmosphere for you to get out of before uh, before you turn 90 degrees to the left. Or 90 degrees sideways. In fact, that's getting really high. So let's instead just time warp to there. <laughs> we were very high up, so we can time warp already. It's barely above the surface. And we are just about at our apoapsis, as we know that's the highest point of the orbit. And now just a small burn got us into reasonably circular orbit, it doesn't intersect Minmus anywhere, which is great. And now let's get back to Kerbin, we need to burn retrograde as I said already, that would be here. Whoa, a bit too much. That's the best we're gonna get. There's a moon encounter, we don't really care about that very much, because it's after we get back to Kerbin. Uh, I do care about this being very inclined, like a polar orbit. Uh, how, how to fix that? Hmm? This would be okay, if only it wasn't inclined. Alright, we can't land yet, so no crashing into Kerbin. Uh, a little less, so we have a periapsis. Oh no, that's above the atmosphere. Nope. Good. And we'll see, maybe we'll have it a bit higher. Uh, we'll make a quick save when we're like here and then we can tweak that, go back in time and tweak it. And the reason we don't want to land is because we have the mobile processing lab here and this is not supposed to land. We need to keep it in orbit. The shading on the surface is so cool right now. We are out of Minmus' sphere of influence and now we wait for 7 days and 5 minutes. Can you see Minmus? It is right there. If you can't, I'm sure you can see Kerbin by now. So, we are very close already, uh, you can start to notice there are some new things in orbit, there's Pointy Muffin and Please Unpack, which we'll be taking a look at later in the episode. And we are in the atmosphere, going at super speeds, we will burn like we have never before. I think I found a bug, check this out. Wow, I think we might have gone too deep into the atmosphere. Let's see. Uh, no, that's staying quite high up still. Yeah, I think we're gonna land. We're landing here. <laughs> Whoa, forgot to retract the solar panels. Let's do that now, I guess. One left? No. Yeah, we're definitely landing. This is moving away. The time to it is decreasing. Trying again at 33. This feels a bit better. This is what it looks like. We're at our parapsis almost. 12 seconds away, and this is about where we want it, right? This is what we ended up at. Pretty much perfect, if I may say so myself. I've never done an air braking maneuver as accurate as this one, uh, and I haven't calculated like at what height I need to go or anything like that. I just randomly hit the perfect the perfect height. Our parapsis is very low, so we'll have to fix that, but our epilepsis is like... I couldn't have asked for a nicer one. I fixed the parapsis, we are in a nice stable orbit right now. Uh, so we are pretty close to please unpack, let's see what that is. And as you would expect, please unpack is a bunch of things ready to be unpacked. First of all, at the top here we have a very mobile MPL. At least that's what I'm gonna call it uh, when I decouple it. Uh, where can I? These are the... This is the stage I want. I also want to release this. Decouple. Whoops. Uh, switch back. That's right. Now... Stage. 
there we go, now it's free. It doesn't have a pod, so I can drive it by itself, uh, but the mobile processing lab is supposed to get docked on here, and then we can drive it around. The MPL doesn't have engines by itself, so it gets engines with this and a bunch more SS modules. There's also seats, which I don't know, just, just so it looks nicer, I guess, and it's more functional, although I'm probably never gonna use them. Uh, you may notice it has some engines in here. It has dual engines at the back and at the front, so that's nice. Next we have at the sides here four docking port adapt adapters. Uh, if we no, can we decouple this? Come on. What are we focused on? Like there's only one craft here, right? Um something's screwing with me. No, definitely not this. Wait, these are separate crafts? How why am I focused on this fuel tank? Uh, this is temporary anyway, it's the launching stage, although it has some fuel in it left, so I decided to keep it here in orbit, or docked to this. Uh, but why can't I... Ah, now I can decouple that. <laughs> it only has RCS. Whoa, that's really, um, really a lot of thrust. Ah, get out of the way! No! <laughs> I'm not used to this RCS being so powerful. It has an SS module apparently. Or no, the wheels in here are strong enough to uh, hold this in place. We're gonna run out of power. Yeah, we're running out because we're in shadows. Why is this called Police on Back Rover Probe? Anyway, uh, the sun is about to rise. We might be able to catch it from this view. And wait for it. There it is. Now we have electricity. <laughs> Instantly we have full electricity. And hmm, I set up my target. We're just past the descending node, which is tiny. Uh, I want to get to the Pineapple Canyon station because it would be nice to have one of these there. One of these adapters. Adapters. I found a maneuver which starts in the sun, so we will have electric charge. And also we reach our destination, which is the uh, we, our only station. Or, no, we actually have two stations. There's one at the moon. Uh, this station. Uh, we will reach it there, I think. Th I think this is wrong. And <laughs> wrong. Uh, this is showing our approach wrongly. Uh, I think we will actually encounter it there, and uh, we will also be in the sun, so we'll have electricity and be able to maneuver. Aha, I see what was wrong. Uh, when I was moving this maneuver around, it was messing up uh, what I've said here, the amount of orbits I'll make before doing the maneuver. It kept setting it back to one, uh, so now that should be okay. Note in T minus 30 seconds. <laughs> and the burn should be very very sudden. Wait, am I going... Which one is forward? That's forward. I don't want to crash into that. No. Not much IRCS needed at all, because this is so tiny. And... Yeah, let's get rid of the maneuver. Then we'll be able to see. We'll meet it here, yes? No? No? Um, I think I failed. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it there then. So efficient. If you can see these blinking numbers, I'm crashing into the station. My separation is 0, .0, .0 kilometers. Uh, so, very accurate. And this is not the number. Now, dog. <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> Did you see that? Alright. And now it has some spin. We can straighten it out and time warp. This is almost out of RCS. I'm worried I'll forget. Wait. I don't have any. I don't have some. Let's put it in there. And we are back to please unpack. Apparently... Wait, that... How did this separate? I didn't... I think I just had a major, major failure. Uh, I had some engines on here, but they were, um, they were attached to it by struts. Like, th up here and down here were engines on uh, small fuel tanks. And they were strutted to this, and now apparently all the struts just disappeared because I, uh, I don't know. Uh, what's moving? Just my camera is moving. All the struts disappeared because I undocked something I shouldn't have. So yeah, I'll have to do that again. What was that in the first place? I'm not sure why I had this... this wing. 
Maybe just orbital work randomly. I don't know. Anyway, there's some fuel in here that I don't want to waste. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn prograde. Turn on SAS, not RCS. And this is gonna stay here. I can dock to, uh, I can dock to it with whatever that I want to refuel. And this guy is just gonna go to an EVA. He's gonna board this seat. I said he's gonna board this seat. And SAS is still on. Now we will decouple that. And something's wrong with the SAS. <laughs> anyway, start those engines. I think they are even turned the correct way. No, they're not. I have to turn around. Whoa! Why am I so glitchy? I have a bit of feel. Ah! This is gonna take forever. I didn't expect this to be so unstable. <laughs> Alright, now we are deorbited. I want to burn a little more fuel, so... Oops. <laughs> Not that way. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it doesn't take so long to get back to the surface. Who is this anyway? It's Erdos. 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 <laughs> so many ways to pronounce that. Uh, <laughs> this looks very funny. <laughs> and he's happy. Oh, the fuel still shaky. And I'm gonna open the parachute when the time comes. And he's gonna land perfectly. Aha! Turning off SS fixes it. So SS <laughs> is what's doing this. Let's not have it on. And now he's spinning for some reason. Probably... Because of the atmosphere? Why is he not burning it? He is burning. And parachute deploying any moment now? Any moment now? <laughs> How is he happy? Ah, the parachute has been deployed. Now we're slowing down rapidly. Uh, EVA report. Ah. Deserts. It's nice that I tried that. Now he realized he's gonna land on his head. <laughs> oh hey, SS works now. How about now? Are you happier? No. Alright, then hand on your head. Ah, he just... He was just sad because he thought he was gonna crash. But now the parachute opened. Great. Oh, hey, he actually has my logo on the... On the suit. Or the jetpack, whatever. Whoops, unfortunately I wasn't recording. He crashed anyway, and survived. Uh, so yeah. That's... why is he in the floor? I don't get it. Ah, better. Now, take a surface sample, because we don't have it yet, I don't think. Okay. And... Uh, let's recover him. 14 science. Why, thank you for your contribution. So now we are left off with a bunch of Please Unpack Rover probes. Uh, these are basically adapters, but those that have this attached to them and can have it decoupled... Oh wait, here are the engines. <laughs> here are those engines that were supposed to be strutted. See all these struts? These were connecting them to the rocket, but no, they, for whatever reason, uh, got destroyed. So I'm not gonna do that in the future anymore. Anyway, if we decouple this, then all this fuel is gone, we can't dock to it anymore, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, we'll keep this docking port here. This one is just fuel, you can dock to it whenever you want, and that's about all it's useful for. This we've talked about already, debris, and... Uh, we can undock this one, we're not gonna do that though, because I don't know where to put it yet. So that about wraps up uh, this please unpack thingy, thingamajig. We're gonna leave everything here.
Now back to the fuzzy gravel 2.0, I decided uh, let's actually leave this Moodle processing lab right here at one of these things, whatever it is um, the mobili mobility ah, the mobility set for the um, MPL. Fixed my nodes and now I'm in a pretty much exact uh, circular orbit as all that stuff that I want to rendezvous with. And the trick to doing that is to uh, just burn prograde to increase your epilepsis and uh, orbital period. Orbital period. So the next time you reach the periapsis, you're gonna be right next to that. Or if you're really skilled, you can make it so that after two orbits, you're gonna be right next to that. And that's gonna uh, require increasing your epilepsis less. But I'm not skilled enough to do so. And here it is. Probably wanna stop moving relatively. Ah! No, don't, don't, don't crash. Okay. Uh... No, I don't care where that flies away, just let's undock that. And no, 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 no. Ah! Oh, we have it. Let's dock to that. To the please unpack rover. And I hope we'll be able to rename it as we do that. There we go. Mm-hmm. Now I hope this is... Whoops. This is kind of stable. Yeah, it doesn't wobble too much. It can also be turned without RCS. Although this can be turned without RCS by itself. Due to the module here. It has dual engines. We can hopefully... Yeah, works. Two and three number keys. I can also do it on my mouse if I want. Because I have a new gaming mouse now. And we are actually going to use this right away, because I have somewhere to put this mobile processing lab. Let me just test. Yes, it does change your speed. Wait, no. Orbit. Mm-hmm, definitely does change speed. Sometimes if you put stuff right behind engines, they won't... Uh, you can turn them on, but they won't have any effect at all, because Newton, Newton's laws. And namely, where we want to put this mobile processing lab is... The pointy muffin, another new thing. Uh, you'll see what it looks like when we get there. And again, we have the same situation. We are in pretty much the same orbit as it is. So uh, we can get there by increasing our epilepsis quite a bit in this case. Which will then get these two together, right here. <laughs> like that. So that's quite a bit of fuel to spend. <laughs> Maybe... Maybe let's try to do that advanced thing with with only increasing our epilepsis a bit. Something like that. And then doing several orbits to get the same effect as with one big orbit. Actually, we don't need a maneuver for that at all, do we? Because we can just burn prograde at any point on our orbit. So that's what it looks like. Uh, that's not quite enough. Won't have much effect. There we go, that should do it. Now, our perhaps it seems to be below the orbit of that. We don't want that, because that's just wasting our time. Uh, so, at, the, at our epilepsis, let's also burn prograde again. Uh, so we can rise that, just a little bit. And I can see, let's focus curve in. Uh huh. Seems like I got it there. To be fair, that looks nasty. It doesn't look like mountains at all. It looks like um, something gross. Quick tip: you can only see where the target is gonna be at the first intersect. So when I do almost one orbit, I'm gonna be there, and the target is gonna be here. That doesn't tell me much. It's not useful information. So I can click on this, add maneuver. That is nothing. And then right-click the maneuver and click this button. See where it is after one more orbit, two more orbits, three more orbits, and then I can see I'm. Just right next to it. And there it is, pointy muffin. Let's test these dual engines out. Okay, probably less efficient. But this turns very well, so... Wait. Oh, it just got loaded. That's why it lagged. Um, let's slow down. Shall we? Whoa, whoa, that's way too slow. Um, I don't feel like turning around, so I can do this. Alright, now let's time warp.
Can you see what it is yet? Well, it's not really that it is anything, just what it looks like. It's in the darkness again. Let me turn on the lights there. Just slow down. And no. You saw nothing. No, do you see what it is? Uh, there's uh, there's an orange tank there still. That's temporary, because I can't get it off. It's gonna be there for a while. Uh-huh, probably see the basic shape already. Or maybe I just see a big mess. <laughs> probably see a big mess, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, if this orange tank wasn't here, it would look very nice. Believe me. And stop. Mm -hmm. No. Get lost, we don't need you anymore. And dock to this instead. Oh, that's right, that says. So I waited for the sun, now I can see it in its full glory. It's basically ign ignoring this part here, these big things, um, it's a screw. This beam, then this, then this, then this, all lodged by 45 degrees. And I don't know if that's realistic, if there's any craft like this, or in science fiction I don't know if that's there either. Uh, like I haven't seen it before anywhere, but I like it, so that's why I did it. It's like my original idea, probably not the first one to make it. Anyway. Uh, at the first layer we have our engines, two atomic engines, because this is supposed to be interplanetary. I'm not sure where to go yet. Then the next beam is for all the electronics and also docking. It's not the only thing you can dock to. I think there's a couple other docking ports across the entire thing. But there's solar panels here, there's uh, the communitrons, there's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There's something. I thought this looked nice, so I put an antenna on the inside of that. Uh, then all the science stuff. We just have one materials bay and one mystery goo container. And same on the other side, so it's balanced, because we're supposed to have this at the back, and that can store infinite amounts of experiments. There's also, if you look closely, a couple more antennas here, and uh, these thermometers, and the uh, barometers. Uh, I'm talking plural, because they're on the other side as well. And finally, we have fuel. This is not all the fuel we're gonna have here. Uh, we're gonna have a bit more, a lot more, docked at the end here, as a long snake on each side. Probably gonna be very wobbly. Uh, but we're gonna be able to throw uh, fuel tanks away as we go uh, when we don't need them anymore and I do that at pretty much every interplanetary craft but in this case it's also gonna be like um, it, we can still dock more to it so we can refuel it kinda even though fuel tanks get thrown away so this is supposed to never land back on Kerbin it's supposed to always be useful so why is this side not decoupled yet? we have an atomic engine on that side not on this side though well first of all uh, I made a quick save so I can show you this it doesn't work, for whatever reason, it doesn't doesn't decouple. And also, uh, there's a problem with this, I can jettison um, both sides, fairings or whatever, of this. Uh, one of them is gonna go just nicely, the other one is gonna smash into the solar panels and knock them off, which I can show you here. Works fine. And... BAM. Oh wait, it worked this time. That's great, I've tested- wait, did I lock a gimbal? I don't want that. Alright, that simplifies things a lot. I'm glad I tested it again, because apparently it doesn't always do it. Uh, but now we have this stuck to us still, and uh, we can only get rid of it by overheating this decoupler so it blows up. Unfortunately, this engine is not powerful enough for that. The overheat gets, like, this far, as far as this is here, the fuel, uh, but it doesn't blow it up. So, uh, we'll need another, an extra engine, and I'm... <laughs> I'm thinking of ordering a special part that we can dock on here, and it's gonna have an engine pointing exactly towards the decoupler, so let's order that now. And guess why it's so laggy? Because what we had ordered has just arrived! Oh wait, it's there! And two huge things parked next to each other, next to Kerbin, that's not the best for frame rate. Anyway, let's switch to this, this is, whoops, <laughs> no, uh, this thing. It's a lot more than just what we ordered, but 
let's start with what we have ordered decouple this and we should be able to yep nope wrong way <laughs> Uh, so this is a probe, we need to park it to a specific docking port on that. Um, how about I park this off camera, because it's gonna be super laggy. So that took a while, and now let's quick save and try to get rid of this decoupler. If it works now, I'm gonna be mad. Oh, it's already decoupled. Um, so, which engines are activated? That and that. We're gonna... Shut this one down. And shut that one down. Oh, if we want to activate this engine, we need to jettison both sides. <laughs> that didn't look good. And the other one might destroy the solar panels. We'll see. We have a quick save. Yep. Let's try that again. And again. Come on! You can do it! <gasps> we did it! Yes! Uh, if we quick save, that's not really gonna do much, because uh, the sentients get their wings back. Let's... <laughs> let's quick save anyway. And then let's try this one, which is very glitchy. Okay, and now activate the engine. Oh, the whole thing is spinning, I think. Oh yeah, deactivate this. And... Now this is gonna be in the way. <sighs> uh. Alright, now I have to dock it again. Wait, the wing, it's gone. The debris. Cool. Wait, am I docked? I should be docked. And there we go. <laughs> now, quick save. So many quick saves required. Start burning, get it warmed up, it's turning red, that's good, that's good. Hmm. It can get a bit closer. And then I'll activate this one, hopefully it doesn't make me spin. It shouldn't since it's pointing towards another part of the same craft. Also we'll put a frost limiter on it for now. Yes, 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 we're doing it. A bit stronger, don't undock on me. And there we go. Now that engine is on! No! <laughs> no! It's gonna screw me up! Ah! This is a thing, right? X. Oh no! No, no, no! This is going! X. <laughs> Luckily, it's a weak engine. It's a very weak engine. Uh, did anything else blow up? I don't think so. Great. And uh, now we have to catch up with it again. Perfect. Alright, we are pretty close. It's up there, the pointy muffin. The next thing I brought with me are these two probes at the top. So, let's undock them, or decouple. I have another piece of debris that I can focus, and it's incorrect. Alright, it has RCS. I said it has RCS. Is it... Aha. It is apparently missing a pod. So I, <laughs> I can't control it. <laughs> so useful. Uh, well, we have another piece of debris now. <laughs> Next. <laughs> oh, oh, this is also failed. It has no pods, so I'm not gonna be able to move it around. Mm, it's these long fuel tank lines, snakes. Uh, but I can, I can't, av I can't avoid using a pot here if I, if only I hadn't had so much lag. 
So I've aligned these two with each other. Now I will switch to the other one. No. Uh huh. I will untuck this. And that. And now I have to go kind of forwards. And. No. Incorrect. Incorrect. Forwards and down. Whoa, that was so close. Alright, my engine exhaust hasn't uh, nudged any of those two. Now switch back. And, oh no, they're, they're going apart. Uh, I'm supposed to go back with this. And pick them up. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of arts, yes. And not quite right. Not quite right. No, 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 no. I seriously did not know you can control from docking ports. So useful. No, uh, did I bump it? I hope I didn't bump it. Yep, I did. I most certainly did. Dock, please. Yes. No, the other one is gonna be a bit harder because we have a huge snake on us. And there we go. Did it work? I hope it works, because I spent like at least an hour doing this. That's one kilometer away already. Uh, this is gonna take so long to straighten out. But it's automatic. So, I can wait. Oh, hey. It worked. Already. So I have now finished this, we haven't managed to get the probes on, because they don't have pods, I was so stupid that I forgot to put those on. Um, but I think that's enough for today, maybe we don't even need probes, uh, so uh, next time maybe we'll already take this station somewhere. Or, it's not a station, what is it? A mothership. <laughs> that sounds better. Anyway, see you guys next time, bye bye.